Welcome to our podcast, Marianne's Musical Soiree. I am your host, Jane Knox, and this episode is entitled Yan Kippura, the Legendary Opera Singer. Jan Kippura, born in Sosnowiec in southern Poland in 1902, rose to become one of the great tenors of the last century. Jan Kippura was a legend in his day. Not only did he star in leading tenor roles in the major opera houses across Europe, South America and the United States, but he was known throughout the world. As the famous Marcel Pravi of the Vienna State Opera used to say, Jan Kippura was known from Alaska to Madagascar. The Oxford Dictionary of Music once referred to Jan Kippura as a strikingly handsome man. His exceptional looks, athletic figure and ringing tenor voice not only made him a natural for the opera stage, but also the movie screen in the 1930s. He would become a household name across several continents. Today, however, we are going to concentrate on Jan Kippura as the opera singer. Let's focus immediately on one of his major roles, that of Mario Cavradossi in Puccini's opera Tosca, and listen to Recondita Armonia, recorded in New York in 1942 for Columbia Records with the Columbia Opera Orchestra conducted by Hans Wilhelm Steinberg. just heard Jan Kippura sing Reconti Tarmonia from the opera Tosca recorded in 1942 for Columbia Records. I am joined today by Jan Kippura's son, the pianist Marian Kippura. Marian, welcome. And can you tell us what we will hear next? Thank you very much, Jane. Yes, we're moving now to the next of the famous tenor arias from Tosca. The third act aria, of course, Eloceva Le Stelle, recorded in 1941, also for Columbia Records, conducted by Robert Armbruster. I should mention that these Columbia recordings in the 1940s that my father made uh, were done in New York City uh, with the renowned record producer Goddard Lieberson, who would later become president of Columbia Records in 1956. Thank you. 
labbra grande Mi codea furra le braccia from the third act of Tosca, El Ocevan Le Stelle, sung by my father, Jan Kepora. Another from these sessions at Columbia was a favorite of my father in his recitals and recordings, the celebrated Tarantella known as La Danza by Rossini. It is a virtuoso piece, as you know and as you will soon hear. At the piano is the noted Hungarian pianist and musicologist Otto Herz, who was a frequent collaborator with my father. Mamma mia, mamma mia, già la luna in mezzo al mare. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, si salterà. Finca, 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 finca. Mamma mia, si salterà. Finca, 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 finca. Mamma mia, si salterà. La 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 Salta, gira, gira, honi, con piacere il chiova, giosso, bonzo, si ritira, e la salta, tornerà. Salta, salta, gira, gira, honi, con piacere il chiova, giosso, bonzo, si ritira, e la salta, tornerà. Giosso, bonzo, si ritira, e la salta, tornerà. Presto in danza, tondo, tondo, donne mie, venite qua. Un garzon veloce, con da ciascuna toccherà. Finché il ciel brilla una stella e la luna splenderà. Il più bel culo, più bella tutta. Notte da Hansara, Mamma mia, Mamma mia, già la luna in mezzo al mare, Mamma mia, Mamma mia, Mamma mia, si salterà, finca, 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 Mamma mia, si salterà, finca, 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 Mamma mia, si salterà, la 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 la
We just heard Jan Kippura sing Rossini's La Danza. Otto Hertz was at the piano. Jan Kippura was certainly a pioneer in his day, whereas he sang the leading tenor roles in famous operas such as Rigoletto, Manon Lescaut, Tosca, and Bohème. He also ventured to creating tenor roles in modern operas. Marian, can you elaborate on this? Yes, Jan Kippura pioneered and created tenor roles of what was then contemporary operas. For example, Erich Wolfgang Korngold's Das Wunder der Heliane at the Vienna State Opera with Lotta Lehmann, and Felicia Latuada's comic opera Le Preziose Ridicole at La Scala in Milano. The tenor role of Kalaf in Turandot was a role which Jan Kippur also helped create in 1926 at the Vienna State Opera as a very young man. He was a kid, actually, to be honest. And at the time, it was a modern opera because Puccini had just completed it two years before his death in 1924. Now, I've chosen a splendid recording, actually one of my favorites, if I may, uh, the aria Ma Pari from Flotta's opera Marta. But this version is sung in German as Ach Sofron. The conductor here needs special mention, a longtime collaborator with my father, the renowned German conductor Karl Alvin, who later left Europe, as did my parents, before the war. My father worked extensively with great conductors such as Bruno Walter, Artur Roginski, and George Sell. Bruno Walter and Karl Alvin were both mainstays at the Vienna State Opera, as was my father before World War II. This recording is from 1937 in Vienna. Me. 
was the aria Ach so from, sung in German, otherwise known as Ma Paris, from Flotov's opera Malta. One of Yom Kippur's great roles was that of Don José in Bizet's Carmen. In fact, he received the Légion d'honneur for the singing of the great French operas around the world. In this 1942 Columbia recording in New York, we hear the famous flower song, conducted once again by noted conductor, Hans Wilhelm Steinberg leading the Columbia Opera Orchestra in one of Yom Kippur's very famous roles. That was the flower song from Bizet's Carmen, sung by Jan Kepura. My father made movies throughout the 1930s, some with my mother, the singer and celebrated movie star Marta Eggert, whom we will hear about in an upcoming podcast. 
I want to share with you, dear friends, that a dark secret, or maybe it's not a secret anymore these days, is that in the 1930s, with the movie industry still evolving in leaps and bounds, all opera singers wanted to make movies. That's just a statement of fact, and many of them did. In the case of Jan Kepura, however, it was profound. He became a household name. Your father's stardom was in some ways unique in that he was a celebrated opera singer, yet simultaneously he was a movie star. Yes, indeed. And one movie, for example, that was very popular at the time was the was called The Charm of La Boheme. It was the story of Boheme that we know from the stage story, of course, and it was also a real-life story in this movie. In German, it was known as Zauber der Boheme. Now, here's the famous aria Cageli da Manina, which Jan Kippur sang on opera stages in Europe and here, such as at the Metropolitan Opera, Chicago Opera, and others. This recording is from Vienna, 1937, with the conductor Karl Alvin. Oh. 
Marianne, thank you for the spectacular program on your famous father, Yom Kippura. We want to thank you, our audience, for joining us. I am your host, Jane Knox, and it was a pleasure being with you.